1000 Chevrolet 1000 here I just thought I'd vlog for a couple minutes for you I want to try this mic out it's a pretty windy day I want to see how well it does um, so I thought I'd walk around a little bit uh, over here we're getting ready well I am charging the battery on the boat it wasn't it wasn't dead it still had 11.9 uh, volts and that was from the other day and from when we went camping so that battery does very well um, so I thought I'd walk around I don't know if you can hear that breeze got a nice breeze there that was pretty cool so anyway we're leaving tomorrow night monkeys inside cleaning the house so I came out here <laughs> Oh, got the air conditioner running. I showed you guys my peppers. So, I gotta get, get this bag here set out. Cause this is what we're gonna put. This is what we're gonna put our, our tent in. And it'll, it might even fit our chairs, I don't know. But I need to get the golf cart charged. The batteries are dead in the golf cart. So I need to get it charged up. Looks like the tires may need some air. Still looking for gas motor for this thing. Tires aren't clear flat, but this side they're a little low. So I want to convert that over to gas so I can like take it down to the river and stuff, you know, and ride around down there. Just a lot better than because as long as you got gas, you can keep going, you know. But uh, you know, batteries aren't really going to last so long, so and i know there's four bad batteries there's eight batteries in that thing and four of them i know are bad um they don't want to hold a charge they'll take a charge and you and you can't go very far and it just starts running down pretty quick now if i put four batteries in there be about 470 bucks if I put all eight in there it'd be close to a thousand dollars I'm not gonna do that you know I'd rather put four or five hundred and just switch it over to gas then it'd be ready to go you know what I mean so and I only need one battery <laughs> well I would probably run two but still you only need one that's just a start you know so I'm looking around there's a place here in Florida but it's quite a ways away from here I can I can uh, the club cars the gas ones I found a couple they're going for like 200 bucks untested of course but you know I would take a chance on something for 200 bucks you know and I'd have to try to borrow a trailer off someone to go get it you know but my way of thinking is you know I can switch it over to gas and if I buy a whole nother cart you know I can switch that one over to gas and switch the other one over to electric and use all the components you know just switch them over and um, or whatever if it's in better shape you know suspension wise and everything like that then you know, I'll just, you know, I'll take two and build one is what I'll do. And then I can still sell, 
you know, the electric one or whatever the case may be and recuperate some of my money, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, that's really all I'm doing. Oh, screen just got really dark. Sorry about that. Get <laughs> by the electric the electric company was just here a little while ago <laughs> and monk answered the door and she come in i was like who's that she said electric they was here to shut the power off she forgot to pay the bill <laughs> so she paid it real quick <laughs> i was like oops because i didn't know when it was supposed to be paid or i would have did it for her so but situation avoided there situation averted is that is that what i used to say <laughs> so check 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 had this i plugged this thing in earlier and it was only it was only working out the left side for some reason the mic so i don't know if it's so I turned the patch cord around and uh, that seemed to have fixed it. So didn't say in the instructions which way it should, shouldn't matter, but it did on this. A tree house. Somebody closed the door on it. I think maybe the kids, they come over here and play after school, I think. And I've heard them over here a few times playing around. I would love to buy this piece of property. Just a small lot. Um, it's probably about a big a lot as ours. I'd like to have this one and one on each side of us like to sew this this you know get it sewed up here but uh i know the one that's on the other side of us there's like three lots there and they own it they're getting up there in years but i mean as far as a cobweb as long as they're still alive we'll never get i'd like to have at least that one lot because the family might sell some of it and uh, you never know, they sell and wind up having a neighbor 20 feet from us. I don't want that. And the one over there with the forest, I'd like to have that just to kind of keep us a forest. Right over there by the truck. Right there. That one. And then this lot right here I'd like to have. And then the one I'm standing on. The one that we just left, that lot right behind me was sold uh, five or six years ago for $1,000. Man. I'd come up with a thousand, I'd buy it. <laughs> I mean, if I could get it for a thousand, I'd definitely come up with the money somehow. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just hanging out while she's cleaning and like I said it's kind of breezy so I wanted to see how well this mic does and I do like the sound of it um, I am satisfied with it so there's a woodpecker up there pecking in the tree he's a big one there's some big woodpeckers down here. Let's see if I can zoom you, zoom in on him for you. Where's he at? There he is. Redhead woodpecker. Woody the woodpecker. Where'd you go? There you are.
<laughs> yeah, them, them things, man, they really tear the trees up around here. What they do is they get in there and they eat the grubs and the worms and whatever's in them trees, the insects. And um, now that one that got cut down right over here, it was, uh, there was actually one living up in the top of that one. He had the hole so big that he could get in it and live in it. So I'd look up there and he'd be looking down at me. And so yeah, it's a beautiful day now. We got like a 52% chance of rain Saturday. So hopefully we'll be able to get the boat out. We're leaving tomorrow night. And uh, so we're just, we're not going to get the boat out until Saturday. Saturday, if it's not raining, I'll put the boat in the water. But we're going to go and set up tomorrow, get the tent set up, and have a quick meal. And uh, might do some fishing tomorrow night. So stay tuned. Like I said, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident we'll be able to live stream Saturday. So stay tuned for that Saturday night. We'll do some live streaming for you. But as far as videos concerned, I won't be able to upload anything until Monday night. So, but I'll have some stuff for you on Monday. We'll just kind of do, kind of like what we did last time. We'll just, um, just, uh, man, the sky's pretty. We'll just film, you know, some stuff. I'm going to make some chili. Would you guys like to see that? I'm going to make it my cast iron pot. I'm going to make some chili. Cook it on the fire. Um, if you guys like to see that, I'll do that kind of like I did the stew. You know, there I'll show you the sky. Beautiful day. Down here. West coast of Florida. I guess it would be considered... Uh, because we're kind of in the middle of Florida, but we're on the west coast. We're right on just a, I don't know, uh, 18 miles, no, 18 minutes. We're 18 minutes from the Gulf Coast, so I guess it'd be west central Florida. But yeah, we're in that area. So I did get the boat all sealed up. Well, from anything that looked like I didn't seal the whole thing, because we're gonna repaint that. And when we repaint it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the motors off and everything out and I'm gonna flip it upside down, scrape all the old paint off and I'll seal it up real good. You know, all the rivets and all the ribs and everything like that, I'll get it all sealed up. But for now, I think See, I'm going to do that when I have the engine off anyway, because I'm going to take the engine off, put it in the garage, and then um, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to rebuild the lower unit, you know, new water pump, all that stuff. It is pumping, but like I said, that output shaft, they said it was pitted. Well, if the output shaft is pitted, then... I mean, it can't seal. It can't seal properly. So I don't want to get any water in there, ruin more stuff. I don't want more oil coming out into the water, you know? So, which it seems to be okay now. But just in case, I'm going to go over the lower unit. It'll be cheap enough. I can do that for around a hundred bucks. But anyway, while that motor's off of it, then I will go ahead and, um, like I said, flip it over. Get it all sealed up real good, repaint it nice. We want to go with the same color. It just kind of fits it, you know. Um, so, yeah. So, that's all I'm doing. Just kind of shooting shit with you guys today. So, I'll have more to come, I'm sure. I'll film something for you. We got to go to Walmart tonight. I'm going to go ahead and pick up another pump for that. Now, I tried it out when it was on the water, and it was acting real funny. Um, I just wanted to test it. There wasn't enough water in there to pump it but then i checked it the other day and it kicked right on so i don't know so i'm going to go ahead and get another pump you know what i mean and put it in there 
I got all these burrs all over my jeans now. <laughs> I gotta get them picked off before I go in the house. Monkey will kill me. So, all right guys. I'll be back with you with some more crap, I'm sure. <laughs> Hang loose. We're in the backyard, let Bruno go to the bathroom. Monkey's over here, but I can't show her because she's naked. I am not naked. That's a good thing about our yard. We can be naked. I've been out here many times naked. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's in her nightgown, though. But I can get her face. There's her face. There I am. There I am. There I am. But, so, anyway. Well, I'll go ahead and put it on night vision. Night shot. There we go. So, we got the truck loaded. And we got all our supplies. The only thing I'm going to do when she's on her way home tomorrow, she's going to message me. Well, she messaged me all day anyway. So, <laughs> I'm monk. Yep. So, tomorrow, when she's on her way home, I'll go ahead and load the coolers. And when she gets here, throw the coolers in the back of the truck, and we're going to be gone. And we're going to come back and get the boat Saturday because we're not going to be moting, boating tomorrow night anyway. So Saturday morning, when we got to go check in um, and pay the rest of the money, then I'll we'll come back and we'll grab the boat and and another thing where the boat where i got to put the boat in at we was there one other time with our ginu what did we hunt yeah and that well it was low but there's a lot of stumps and stuff yeah. so i don't want to try to navigate through there after dark end up breaking a prop or something so and besides like i said we're not going to be we're not going to be using the boat till Saturday anyhow. Like five away, so not... Well, maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. Five, five, five. yeah, so we're going to come back, grab the boat, and then we'll take the boat, unload the boat, and then we'll do a little boating, and then I'll make my chili. I was telling them about my chili earlier. Yeah. I'm going to make some chili, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, where's Bruno go? Oh, he's in the chair. There, Bruno. Where is he? Sorry, he got his duty. Did he? Yeah. He's right Chilling. there. He likes to sit up in the chair. Yeah. So, anyway. So that's what's happening. I don't know if I'll get a video up tomorrow or not. But I'll try. And I'll definitely, I'll figure something out. We'll, we'll do a live stream somehow, huh, honey? Well, they got Wi-Fi there. Yeah. So. Just don't know how far and how good it is for the tenting area. Yeah. I don't know how well our phones pick up out in there. But if we have to, we'll do live. We'll go to the clubhouse or whatever and do a live stream. Yeah. And then we're going to do some fishing, some boating. And so we're going to be there from tomorrow night till Monday morning. So anyway guys, thanks for watching my vlog, listen to me chit chat, hope everyone has a safe weekend, and I hope everyone all is staying safe, and um, what else, that's about it, huh? Yeah. Other than that, we got everything in the truck, so, except for a couple things, uh, her camera, and the lantern, yeah, we gotta get our or silverware. <laughs> no. Now, hell, we're only five minutes from a gas station, so. Yeah. <laughs> we get plastic spoons if we have to. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you, Mr. Main Legend, Monk. Boy, she's yawning. Monk, Monk, says she's out for now. Talking to the mic. My, oh. I can't even talk. Monkey says she's out for now. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you. Bye-bye.